Hello, welcome back to Wild Frost. I'm recording this one at a nice, cool 6 p.m. I waited because we were under severe thunderstorm watch, so I wanted to see if my power was going to go out. It didn't, unbelievably. So, you know, the skies are clear. We're going to sneak in a recording before it goes back to being awful. Shall we? I read your comments now for the video from two days ago about uh the mastery challenge idea and that'll probably be what i do if the game releases in this state if this beta comes out like this is this character's name gobble feet all right hold on i gotta send this one to cash i'll be right back one sec all right. anyway uh, would you guys be interested in playing... I don't know, we played that run with Tinkerson and he was kind of cool. I think that add plus three damage to all junk in your hand sucks a lot, but... Um... Yeah, I think it's... I mean, I was trying to think of something good to say in response to that. I think that the best thing to say is that this hero is only minus two HP and we're getting... A potentially zany outcome. The opportunity cost of 2 HP versus me getting a wacky run. So, let's see what we got here. I'm gonna play, what did I play yesterday? I played, I think I played Snoop. He got kicked pretty early though. Uh, let's play, uh, I'm gonna play, I, I should really just random number generator this, I feel. Let's play Spike today. I'm feeling sp Spike. I'm feeling my good buddy. Oh, baby, Spike into the penguins. A teeth penguin? Oh, you get him, Spike. Talk to him, brother. Look at this. The junk on the gagong gives me a three kill where I otherwise would not have gotten one. Well, well, well. Would you look at that? I think that these add power to junk cards are pretty good, all things considered. I don't hate him. Most important thing to do here is kill Waddle Goons in time. I... So it's one, two, three. There's four penguins that spawn, so I'm allowed to play Breeze on Gobbling and then redraw for... Yeah, Gear Hammer. There was a Gear Hammer and a Junk I could pull there, and we got the Gear Hammer. Now we just beat up the Gobbling a little bit, wait for the penguins to spawn in and die. How exciting. We're going to take a 5 kill home. This is the sort of 5 kill that I'm pretty happy to take because it's not hard to find. Doesn't take a whole lot of effort. And yeah, it's free money. One of my cats is in here and he's just looking at me because he heard me start talking and I woke him up. He looks real mad. After this recording, I'm going to go fight him. I'm going to meet him in the Denny's parking lot. Paws up, mister. Usually I don't record while the cats are in here, but he was very asleep and I didn't feel like I needed to wake him up. I let him be, but now he's awake and he's angry. That's okay, he'll get over it. What's he gonna do about it? Meow at me? I mean, if he does, he's, I'm just gonna throw him out. Anyway, uh, spike into the noxious shrooms. How sad. We'll go bottom path here. I like seeing double travelers today. And we'll see what we get. Oh, baby. Exactly what I wanted to find. Tinkerson Jr. The junk run run back. Pengu charm me. Right here, right now, cowards. Pengu charm. Oh, Lumen Ring. You're afraid, aren't you? You can admit it. I understand. That's fear. Oh, he's awake. I'm gonna I'm gonna escort this cat out of the premises. Please hold. All right, my cat has been removed from the premises. What are we taking here? I feel like I, every day I pass on Big Barry, and it's mostly because I think Big Barry is kind of boring. So let's play Big Barry today. I could also take Alloy. I'm not going to, but I could. Let's go, Big Barry. This is a fairly beefy team. And we got a little bit of junk to play off of. And we'll see where we end up. This is a pretty easy start here, at least. Nothing too hard to play. Brutals just get silenced. Today I'm going to remember to look at my charms. Or I should say, 
the enemy's charms and see what we're looking at. But, you know, look at Big Barry go. It's finally Big Barry's time. Here he comes. Tinkerson Jr. hits the field. That's a five damage junk, baby. Don't you disrespect it. I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but I have it. I hit it. Two plus five is seven, so I should do two here. And then two to the goblin. The goblin escapes, though. So... I'll just hit the puffball for two, then. And that's fine. Bulbhead goes down to four. I have Flask of Ink, which really just bodies this fight. It's a very unfair matchup. Although... Probably better to freeze the bulb head here. Mm, I manifested this. I thought very hard about Snowzuka there, and it arrived. I'm not gonna worry about multi-killing at this point. All I care about is walking away from this fight. Spike is gonna die and I don't care. Someone has to take the hit. It could have been Big Barry, I guess. I probably could have saved Spike if I really cared. I don't. Spike honestly doesn't need to be in this run anymore. I'm pretty sure with the two beefcakes that I have already, I don't think it matters. I'm just gonna bench him. I'm just gonna go throw him in the garbage. Be gone, Spike. Hmm. Not my favorite pathing ever, but I mean, it's okay. We get the, the banner or the cards before we get to the shop. Or the duplicate, I mean. I wish there was a card that said something like junk, all junk deals plus two and consumes. Or like a, the, I don't know, you can't put that in the game, I guess. I mean, it would be a unit with an aura effect. Your junk now consumes and deals bonus damage. I'll take Blink Bank, I suppose. Something more exciting here, maybe, like... Well, in a different universe, these are fun and interesting. Sun Cream... Sun Cream Lumen Ring is just ridiculous, for sure. I could play it, but... I'm playing for junk here today. I feel like the junk line is good, and I've already committed to it, so I just want to play it through at this point. I'll pick Storm Globe as a result. And I'll take a second bling bank, I guess. I think this is this is the sort of thing that I worry about though, because if I lose this run. It's very easy to look at it and go, oh, well, obviously I could have played this other line. So it feel, it'll feel weird if I lose. But if I win... Oh, I win. Okay, cool. Incredible. What a world. Uh, this, this is game over, by the way. Tengu Charm is the nuts. I'm sure you've never thought that you would hear me say something like this. But Tengu Charm Tinkerson Jr., welcome to the fucking show. Strap yourselves in for the ride of a lifetime. I don't know what to do with this Lumen Ring now. Probably we will run these two. I'll hold on to it and we'll keep an eye out. Might be best to put it onto Junkhead Jones, honestly. Well, welcome to the game. Everything has come together just right. Here is my 17 damage junk, which I'm going to go ahead and take up to 21 damage because I like to. Junkhead goes up here because I need more junk. And then I play a bling bank. I want Junkhead to... Okay, so it's like this. I want Junkhead to not take damage unless he absolutely has to at this point. My hero is taking three. I should probably kill the porcupine. My hero takes five now. That's okay. Makoko. Mac oh, Makoko gives me free junk. Oh, baby. 
We'll just start mopping on mini mochas, I suppose. One free junk, very nice. I think it goes to the mini moko here. Junkhead can take this hit. It's fine, Junkhead. You're alright. My deck is pretty full of junk here. I'm down to let the Makoko hit Junkhead. Kill it. And then I have to... I have to deal with the three. Tinkerson takes the three. I have this whole hand here coming up that doesn't have junk in it. So we are going to play... Oh man, this Makoko is kind of spooky though, isn't he? If I let him stay, this Makoko is going to keep pummeling me. I think I sack the bling bank, kill the Makoko, and let Infernoko hit a 14 on it. Because I have to spend two turns to redraw, and Makoko does not let me do that. But, Infernoko gives me four turns, which is much better. So I would like to play Big Berry Bling Bank. The question here is, do I have time to play Big Berry Bling Bank, or do I need to just redraw? I think the correct choice here is to play Big Berry. I have the time for that. Do I have the time to play Bling Bank as well? That's the question mark. I think so. I think I do. So we'll let... Uh, we don't want Tinkerson to tank the one. I'll let my hero tank the one. We want to min-max our health usage. I press the bell. I should draw a jump here. The odds are in my favor. I got two. Hero goes down a touch. We're going to take two on our hero. It is definitely time to kill Infernoko. Undoubtedly. Just pop him one. How much is here? It's just Snow Gobbler. I will not be getting any multi kills. I think what I will do now is just win the fight and go home. I have plenty of money, thanks to the bling banks. I and we have a very firm plan. This is a, a very good plan because we are over. Uh, we're over. We're going to be over thirty. 30 is the breakpoint number you want on your damage. I am good with this. Give me a crown. I think I might just not buy any more crowns. I know I floated the idea and then I just didn't mention it again. I might just not buy any more crowns today. I don't know if I really need them. Ah, portable workbench. This is it. This is the nuts. This is every single junk card I can get. Now I need a junk, and I need, like, something to make junk now, though. That's the real killer. You gotta give me something with trash on it. There's only so much I can get away with here. I don't want any of these. Give me a cool trash card. Uh, none of these are good. Here's the real question. Do I feel like more crowns does something interesting to this run? I, I think it does, yeah. I think it's worth doing, because there's nothing better to do in this shop. Part of it, too, is that if you're imposing these self-made challenges, this is, like, part of the power budget of this shop is that there is a crown on sale. Without the crown on sale, I think the shop needs to be expanded to have more things in it. Or else, it just doesn't really make much sense, does it? I don't think so, anyway. So, it, again, I just, I don't love purposefully hamstringing myself for fun. Because I think it's just kind of weird. Man, I need junk. I I guess I'm crowning Junkhead. I kind of want to crown the double bling banks, though. I don't think I need this workbench. I also, I, I, need, I do need Big Barry. I need him here to tank for me. I'm going to Lumen Ring Junkhead. Crash 2 when hit. That is the dream. This is a great fight for me because we will crush Makoko. Double bling bank. Tinkerson with the snow cake. Please draw me. Oh yeah, Junkhead turn one. How exciting. Beautiful. Two free junk. Oh, you shouldn't have. For me. Okay, we're gonna kill Makoko now. What a dream run. Does he not count as being hit there? Did you see that? Did it did it count down? I wasn't paying close attention. Did he count down there? I'm unsure. Ah, 
got more free junk head value? How exciting. And we'll just take Tinkerson up. Tinkerson going up is worthwhile because of uh, Inferno. Not, who is it? King Moko. King Moko. How do you think Infernoko relates to King Moko? Sun, maybe? Well, distant relative, perhaps? Hard to say. He's definitely in the hierarchy, though. He has to be. I'm clicking these junks, brother. There's nothing you can do to stop me. Who kill? I guess. The blink banks are important because I actually make zero value out of multi-killing. I can't do it. Oh wait, King Moko gives Tinkerson more health. Or more more attack on my junk, too. I should bring Junkhead down, and I should press the bell here. And then I'm gonna recall Big Barry to play Portable Workbench, because that's who I am. And so it'll go... I guess I should just kill King Moko, huh? Hit him for 24. I have to stop the Pepper Witch, I think. 4 damage. It'll be 7 if I junk. I guess I could have Portable Workbench tank it. That seems fine. And then this is lethal, I think. Is it not? Oh, it isn't. Okay, I freeze the Makoko because I want to keep both Bling Banks alive. And now what we want to do that we have King Moko in one hit till dead range is we do want to go through and kill everything off that we can because the Bling Banks generate us money. They generate us 8 gold per target they see die, which is better than enemies running away from me. So I will take that. Very nice. Definitely bottom path. There is no more units I'm going to add to this deck. Chrono I'm telling you, dude. Someone, someone commented, check my PC. Check him PC. Why do I see Chrono every run? Make it make sense. I don't want Chrono or Gacha Pomper or Sunglass Chime. None of these cards fit into my grand plan. They don't. I'm out, sharks. Normally the nuts, I am nut interested. Eh, kind of weak. Strawberry charm? Sure. That's fine. Uh, nah, I'm okay. Kind of suspicious that I'm not seeing anything with recycle, or with uh, junk on it, trash on it. But, who am I to say? Who am I to say indeed? I'll keep Big Barry in. He's good to have. It's nice to have another source of 10 HP. Oh, scary. And maybe I shouldn't be playing the double bling bank turn one setup. Uh, also, I lost HP there. You are correct. Yes, yes. My junk deals... I think it's enough. I need to get to Junkhead. Life without Junkhead is not worth living. Oh, we do 17 on our junk here. So, 17 to Bigfoot. Again, it's just hit things with junk until they fall over, really. I think I'll hit the Wooly Drek here. Mm, I'll hit the Grovel. 19. Close. Pretty close. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let the Wooly Drek swing here. I left him alive so that there's a chance that he eats the Goblin. Which would be really cool and good and excellent for me. We're going to be rich. Oh, baby. Junkhead has done his job. My deck is full of junk. Great job, Junkhead. I think Double Bling Bank is making me some pretty obscene income. 5 and 4 is 9. This is 26. I should play Gear Hammer and then Junk to kill him off. Yeah, those that round gave me almost as much money as Bling Bank gives me. I got Wooly Drek on the, on the dead, dead Isle. Dead, dead Island as uh, something else. We kill Gromble. Now I finally get to redraw. We junk a little bit of junk. 
goes to Papa, and then I will have Tinkerson tank Big Glue. I think Big Berry can tank it too. And we're killing the Bigfoot, and then we're out of here. Pretty uh, straightforward game plan, I gotta say. I click junk and then I click on the enemy. But hey, if it works, it works. The build is real. It's nice that I, I talked about this build in the last junk run, and today we hit it. Not a whole lot of turnover time. Would I ever duplicate a card? A second junk head actually sounds pretty good to me. So you can give me second junk head. And then we just go to the snail. I have how much money? Hmm. Oh, forging stove is really degenerate. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, no. Okay. I am going to buy the crown. I need it now. Trust me. Trust me, it's going to be epic. Molten egg charm? Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay. All right, all right. Cake charm. Okay, okay. Okay. So... This gets to be... The... This gets to be difficult because there's so much to do here. I Molten Egg the Junk, for sure. And then... I think I crown Snowzooka, and then I give it the plus five. That looks right to me. And then I think... Oh, I need Lumen Vase. That's the one I'm missing. Lumen Vase is the other one. Okay, now... I'm sure you see where we're going with this. Hello, Krunker. Uh, really an obnoxious fight to have to deal with here. Aw, oh, man. My hero messed everything up. No critical. How sad. Okay, so it goes Tinkerson, Lumen Vase. Oh, wait. Oh, I did forget something. Hold on, sorry. I forgot something. I jumped the gun here. My mistake, my mistake, my mistake. If you were thinking, hey, wait, there's something wrong here, you were correct. I missed a crown. I was too lost in the sauce. It's this junk that needs to be crowned. I knew I was missing something there. But where does the junk come from, he asks himself. There is no response. So the junk was the only card that had actually mattered, and I did not roll correctly for it. But that's okay. I think... When you get right down to it. Oh no, if you put your hero out, yeah, your hero might eat it. Okay, I'm, I'm figuring it out, don't worry. I'm getting there, I'm getting there. It's it's complicated, dude. Try it for yourself. It's, it's not exactly as straightforward as it seems. Also, I have no freeze on Krunker, so just be wary of that as well. I can hit as big as I want on Krunker, he's not dying. So I guess what I'm gonna do here, because the build is done and I don't need anything else, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kill Krunker now. I'm just going to hit him a bunch of times. I should watch out for the spike wall, I suppose. Junkhead takes an 8 for me. Good job, Junkhead. Bring my hero down. I can hit the Grinky and get a free hit through to Krunker. He's at 5. Oh, how annoying is this, man? Are you kidding me? You're putting me up against double spike walls when I blew all my freeze on my units? Ugh, oh, how disgusting. Ah, <sighs> okay. All right. All right, so we're, I mean, the best play here now is to just start picking things off. You pick there. And then I have a second junk head, so don't be alarmed. I'm going to redraw because I should pull Snorm Globe, which will give me four turns against Krunker. This junk head can go die, and we're going to knock the spike wall out. The bottom spike wall out. It's not it's, this fight isn't hard, it's just annoying because I wanna hit big number on Krunker 
I did all this setup and you're making me fight these scrapped losers instead of fighting me on real terms. I'm gonna kill Sponger now. Uh, Krunker does deal 10 here, which is worth being aware of. But I guess the point here that I've been making is that what I'm allowed to do right now is make Tinkerson leave. I think Tinkerson should leave. Uh, but then the Grink hits me for 3, which I don't love. Could throw Big Barry to the wolves, I suppose. Could play Junkhead here as well. I think I throw... I think I throw Junkhead out. Go get him, champ. There's no reason for Tinkerson to take the hit, because dealing 40 damage is the exact same as dealing, uh, like, nothing to Krunker here. Dealing 3 and 40 are the same. So I can redraw and we can rotate down. You get hit for, for one by Degrinky. I probably just jump, jump the junk head out as well. Almost done here. Yeah, we can jump the junk head out. When you have just your hero on this fight, it's actually pretty easy to dodge around Krunker's shots. Yeah, because in the worst case, you can always dodge it if you have one clunker on the field. I didn't end up playing my Blink Banks. I don't care about money anymore. I'm over the money. I'm a I'm reformed. I'm a changed man. Money is nothing to me. I'm gonna smite the porcupine for his transgressions. Big Barry is killed. How much do I care? Zero. Because after this fight, this is the only fight in the game that could give me even a moment's pause with how strong this setup is. So once I get out of this fight, it's all over. All I have to do is get out of the fight. And so I am going to ignore the spike wall and we're going to fast draw for our buddy Tinkerson who is in here somewhere. I'm sure of it. He's under all this junk, I bet. There he is. I knew I'd find him. Wish I could play Bling Bank here. I mean, I could. I would just have to get hit. Which I'm not doing. So we will gear hammer Crunker. Nice and easy. Now, Tinkerson is unfrozen, so he's on a three-turn timer as well now. I don't have any junk in my hand, though, now, do I? Hmm, curious. I throw a Blaine Bank down. That's the play here. I see it. Well, you can't destroy cards that you don't have the... or they don't have a hit marker on them. How about that? Okay. All right, Krunker. I see you ruining my fun. It's over for him. He's dead now. And just think, I messed this up as well. This is not the correct setup. Krunker is a 50 health boss. Who I will be killing now. Very nice. I will not make the same mistake twice. Big Barry, I would apologize if I was sorry, but you're you're out, boss. You're out of here. We play Junkhead. Nope, Traveler, pretty busted here. I do want Junk, but the ability to see charms is cool. Trash one? Ooh, yeah. Give me that. Can make. I can't put Trash one on Junkhead? Man. I guess I'll put it on Snowzooka then. Too bad it doesn't give me Trash 7, but maybe that would not be good. Okay. Let's be sure to not make any horrific errors here today. This junk just has to be to the left of Snowzooka, and everything is much nicer. But such is life. Yeah, so I am not getting the 4 HP on my hero here because I am playing Forging Stove on this junk. Now let's just go for the big number. That's nice. I like big numbers. That's 71 on Tinkerson. 
so I put these junk heads down. And they should give me enough junk to win the fight, I do believe. Mm -hmm. Tinkerson takes a one, which I don't really care about, do I? And I care about this one a little bit. I care slightly here. Because it's gonna be one, two, three, four. I almost care. I can recall him if I need to. I have my doubts that I will need to. So the order of operations here is to just... Because I kill them in the order that I hit them, basically. So I just kill them in order of their turn. And make sure that my hero's not swinging into a warthog to death. Which I'm not. And I probably don't want to swing into the rock hog either, so we'll kill that too. Goblin can run, it's fine. And then I think what I'll do is just kill Razor. That's fine with me. I don't think there's a good reason to uh, one by one pick those guys off. They're gonna drop money when they leave. Not that much though, come to notice it. Muncher, I guess. I don't really care here too much. Blaze T, apply <laughs> one, demonize. Hmm. Interesting offer. We could Sun Charm Tinkerson, and then if I ever unbury him from the snow, it's pretty cool. But this run does not play to unbury Tinkerson. This run plays to kill. I would like to get rid of... Definitely Sun Song Fox. I'll throw you a gear hammer. You can have it. Enjoy it, buddy. Do I want to change anything on my crown setup here? Not particularly. I think this is fine. Today I'm going to hit the critical. Trust me. Trust. Oh, baby. Now that's gaming. Oh, uh... Hmm. So here's a fun fact. This critical, I believe, will not activate. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Well, I know why, and I think I can't fix it, actually. It's a, it's a bug in the game. Let me see if I can at least show you how you would be able to get it to activate if you were in a different position than I am. Ah, no, you can't. So the problem here is that if the card directly to the right of the critical is consumed, it will not read a critical to activate. The way to fix this would be if I could play Lumen Vase after Snowcake, but I cannot. So unfortunately, despite the setup being correct, it doesn't work here. Alas. Maybe in the next fight, huh? Doubtful. Uh, give me big number. Take the 71 here. Oh, I should play my hero before. No, I can't play my hero before forging stove. That doesn't work out for me. I know that. So I will kill... I only have one junk. I'll kill the rock hog. This is going to be a fairly long fight. Relatively long fight, I suppose I should say. I may as well plan accordingly. I'm gonna hit the plum, and then I'm gonna hit the grink, and then we're getting free junk. Oh, but I'm hitting him if I do that. Never mind. I would rather not give the boss four attack here, so the grink can hit my junk hit. Mm -hmm. Ugh, these clunkers, man. Very annoying. So it goes one, two, three, four. If you didn't follow my mouse there, it goes one on the forge, two on the grink, three on the forge. Actually, no, I should leave the forge because I want my hero. Uh, I don't care, actually. Give me my two free jump. Thank you very much. You tell him, Smug Dust. Mega Mimic's annoying. Not that bad, though. I'm just going to wipe all of his spawns out because it's the easiest thing to do here. And 
then I will probably win the game. I don't have the damage to just punch right through them, though, which is why we want to be a little bit cautious. We want to make sure we're set up properly, because they're going to get their turn timers counted down, because I have to kill him outside of combat. Because combat hasn't played yet, so these guys are all going to attack immediately. Which means we want to give a little bit of respect here. We're going to go hit Grink, hit Uba Bear, probably, probably Grink, then... Because it's all the same. Florida Winter Worm. It, every hit here is the same. So I'll hit Uba Bear, and then I'll hit Porcupine. And Tinkerson takes one. I'd rather my hero takes one here. And then this is two turn lethal. Yeah. Do I want to take my screenshots now, or... I'll do, I'll do them at the start of the next combat. I think that's better. Because it's one more chance for the full, full setup to go correctly. Alright. Let's see it. Show me... Ah, hero's in the way. Too bad. I put this, uh, put this Snozuka in my opening hand and I hit zero times. But, that's how it goes. Okay, so I'm going to take a screenshot of this. I'm not going to pause for this one because I'm going to do some more stuff that you're going to want to see. Tr trust me, you don't want to miss this. So I'll just take this one now. Real quick, like. And then it goes, Tinkerson hits the board. Snowcake him. Nozuka him. I almost played junk on him. Forging stove him. And then... Let's play our hero and our junkhead. Okay, I will be taking some screenshots. You sit tight. I missed one screenshot here because I, I want to kill Frost Jailer before I show off the Tinkerson. So we will begin. So first things first, you kill the junker. Step one of this position is you kill the junker. Step two, I believe, is we want to kill the bomber. But I don't actually have a whole lot I can do about that. I guess, you know what I can do instead? I can silence the Jailer. That seems a lot better. Because now I can just ignore him and I can let the Bomber be. And I can kill the Crusher or the Muncher. I'm going to take my Tinkerson screenshot now that he doesn't have unmovable on him as well. If you don't mind. Last one. Lots of stuff to put in the thumbnail for this one though. This is so, it's like very not dark on this one. Maybe it's because he's Tinkerson. I don't know. Anyway. That's all the screenshots I need. The thumbnail is going to be popping. I need the... So I'm going to kill the Crusher, I think. And we're just going to move Hero and Tinkerson out of the way. Crusher dies. Bomber gives me my Junkhead hit. My last Junkhead hit goes to the Jailer, I'll kill the Muncher this turn, the Lancer on the following turn, the Bomber here. Ah, wait, he doesn't die. Ah, hold on a second now. Someone's alive at 8 HP. Excuse me, young man. You're supposed to be dead, I watched you die. Take your time, buddy. It's hard coming to terms with the end, isn't it? So, oh, pretty fun one, I gotta say. I am glad that it came together. The Tinkerson Pangu Charm combo is very silly, but it works so well because you get to a point where it's just one turn equals one kill on an enemy. That shit goes hard. But, anyway. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave me a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.